Plumbers are the most important frontline health workers around the globe. World Health Organization. One billion people across the globe suffer from a severe lack of access to safe water. 2.5 billion people have no access to safe sanitation. 80% of diseases in developing countries can be traced back to inadequate water and sanitation facilities. Unfortunately, the world as we know it has yet to press the panic button on this alarming scarcity of water. I wish people wouldn't be so wasteful in consuming water. There's so little of it left. Water is precious. Water scarcity has become a way of life, even in some of the most advanced cities of the developed world. Be it the congested state of California or the drought-ridden suburbs of Detroit, what ought to have been a human right has become a paid luxury. Hi, I'm Taylor, and I live in Los Angeles, California. We have clean, safe water, but we have a serious water shortage. The situation is far more frightening in the developing and lesser developed countries of the world. The absence of adequate plumbing and sanitation has reduced the life of communities to an unrelenting quest for water. Almost 194 million girl school days are lost every year because of the absence of basic sanitation and toilet facilities. It is but a tragic irony that more people in the world have access to a mobile phone than to a toilet. The water in most developing countries is contaminated. I read an article that said more people die of water-related diseases than of AIDS. Contaminated water can kill communities. With almost 2 million tons of human waste being discharged into our water sources every day, contamination is but inevitable. Large-scale industrialization in several parts of the world has caused unimaginable water pollution. Every 15 seconds, a child dies from a water-related disease. At any given point in time, one half of the world's hospital beds are occupied by patients suffering from water-related diseases. Where do we go from here? Can we hope for help? Uncle, you have a very large organization. What are you and the organization going to do about this problem? You know, the World Plumbing Council is the place where the plumbing associations from all across the world come and be part of a common platform. Now, you must have heard of United Nations. United Nations have got a representation from all the countries in the world. So, we are the United National Plumbers. So, plumber plays a major role in protecting the health of uh, nations and a plumber should be considered as a nation's health worker. Creating this awareness across the globe is the responsibility taken up by the World Plumbing Council. The World Plumbing Council, or WPC, was established in 1990. The WPC has members from 27 countries, representing more than 50% of the world's population. The WPC is managed by an executive board comprising senior plumbing professionals. In the 25 years of its existence, the WPC has been fortunate to have had the experience and expertise of several stalwarts from around the world who have made the council what it is today. The WPC aims to spread awareness about effective water management. To this end, the WPC provides education and training to plumbers to facilitate better plumbing and sanitation for the world. PICAC is an active member of the World Plumbing Council. It's a global centre of training excellence that brings together training, research, 
and industry development to ensure the industry remains at the cutting edge of emerging technology. Apart from training, the WPC also propagates better plumbing standards that will go a long way in ensuring cleaner, safer and more adequate water supplies for the world. Hi, I'm Felicia Marcus, Chair of the State of California Water Resources Control Board. Water management is critical to all the people of the world, no matter where you live. Over the years, we've learned how to deliver water safely in many places. Increasingly, we're going to need to figure out how to use it far more efficiently. The World Plumbing Council invites us to act locally, think globally. Indeed, it's time to quench the thirst of the world. It's time to put smiles back where they belong, on the face of every little child in the world. And the time for action is now. Plumbing is vital to global health. We are duty bound to live a safer world for our children of tomorrow. The plumbing community can help in this endeavor. Come and join the World Plumbing Council today.